and welcome back to Let's Play League of Legends. I am your host, Malevolent Game, playing as Twisted Fate once again, but trying out a different build. I was told, you know what? He's not just a magic uh, attacker, so why don't you build some vis blah, blah, blah. retake? Why don't you build some physical attack on him? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, actually, I just tried this build out, but I wasn't recording. I really wish I was, because I went 33 kills, 3 deaths, and 2 pentakills. Yeah, pentakills. So, we're going to see if we can do this again. Since I heard the chances for a pentakill are very unlikely, I hope this time I catch it on the recording. Okay, so as you see here, that stop talk. All right, instead of starting with the rings like I normally do, we're gonna start with the brawler's gloves for some critical strike chance, and build up our W instead. Hopefully this works out. Charm, yeah, sure. And I said in the previous video that I wasn't really too happy about the um, the nerf that Twisted Fate got. Uh, once you play around with it for a little bit, it is a little change to get used to. But I'm liking it, you know. He turns into a complete beast in the end game because of it. Ah, oh, wrong card. I just need to work on getting my last hits in a little bit better. Just luck of the draw. But pretty much, uh, from what I've seen in this build, it's about getting your critical hits and getting your hits in quickly. Come on, die. Alright, I did get the first blood. I know I just died there, but I really wanted that first blood for the gold bonus. So hopefully that's one of our only deaths in this game, and I can keep it up and hit a pentakill in the mid to late game like I did last time. As you see there, we upgraded the Brawler's Gloves to the Avarice Blade so we can gain some extra gold, and the critical strike chance went up by 2%. And I am really enjoying watching the uh, championships going right on that going on right now in Europe, I mean, there were some incredible plays. As you see, uh, different from my other videos before, I used to work on trying to drill the wild cards in. This is just building your uh, total attack power, pretty much. I mean, I really like it. I didn't expect it to work this well at all. So, here we go. Gonna take the turret down. And as you see, I'm using a lot less mana than I did before. That's another thing I really like about this build, because it's a lot less to manage. A 
Again, it is a kind of slow start off build, but it really pays off, as you'll see. Once you get the critical strike to about 55-65%, you're going to be a beast on the match. Oh, and as you see, we got a new Twisted Fate skin. He's now High Noon Twisted Fate. That was the wrong card. <laughs> and our attack speed is going to go up a little bit faster now. You're going to see a lot more action and a lot more kills going on in the near future. as we should take this turret down now without any resistance whatsoever. Okay, maybe minion resistance. And I ate a hit. I really don't care. The turret went down. don't think we can take him down just yet because we haven't uh, bought any new gear, but we can keep him from gaining any levels or experience. As their Sona comes in... Oh no! Don't worry, I'm not going to die to a Sona. <laughs> I'm just going to go back and purchase some upgrades real quick. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah, dagger, because we want the attack speed. And you'll see why. I know it looks a lot different from what I did before, but I like to build up the uh, static shiv first. It makes for excellent farming and excellent for killing opponents. You'll see, trust me, I'm going to hit about 30, 40 kills. Sorry, I'm just so excited, still thinking about last game. I mean, I was not expecting one pinnacle, let alone two. go ahead and get our ultimate ready just so we can spy on them if we lose track. I'm not gonna go chase. Oh no! You will not kill me! Come on. Okay, they're all coming mid lane. Uh, Sona, I'm sorry. Yep. That just happened. I don't want to die yet. I'll kill Graves. That'll avenge you. Pick a card. Shining gold. Fine, Soraka. I don't care. Okay, Graves. Cool. Somebody. Jeez. Okay, let's see what we can upgrade now. Can we get the Static Shiv? We can. Alright. So we get the Static Shiv. Uh, what else? We start working on the uh, Ghost Blade, I think. Ghost Blade, Ghost Blade. There you are. Yeah. 
Ghost Blades next. It's all in the cards. I'm trying to do everything exactly as I did last game because I really want these pentakills. I'm not off as uh, great a start as last time, but hopefully I can still pick it up. As you see, Soraka goes down like nothing at all. And Graves joins her. I did use my flash there, but that's just because with this build, I don't know, I feel like I can play a lot more aggressively. So even though, uh... No, I'm not going to go back just yet. I'm going to kill Nasus, possibly. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll die. And we take down Soraka once again. Now to go for the guy we were coming up here for, Nasus. And we get Nasus. So as you see, I'm already picking up a lot of speed. I'm not even partially way through the build yet. We only have one completed item. And that's the uh, static shiv. Oh crap. Time to go. Ah, so close to the ghost blade. Doing it. So as you see, it's 13 minutes in. We have 7 kills now. 1 death. I'm telling you, I love this build. I never knew you could build uh, Twisted Fate as a melee attacker and do so good. I mean, he is just incredible built this way. Look at that. Completely took out that crowd. Only level 9. Let's go ahead, head bottom, and take out Graves. Charmed, I'm sure. Before he runs away. Where's Graves? There's Graves. You die. <laughs> Malevolent game is godlike. Whoa. So pretty much this build, Q is uh, pretty much useless unless they're out of range and you need that last hit. Oh, I queued that card way too early. But Sona will die. Sona dies. Gonna pick up an easy double here. <clears throat> I don't know if this will count as a triple. Oh no! You get back here. Ah, oh, fine. I'll give her that kill. Anyway, let's go back, complete the Ghost Blade real quick so we can get those quick, easy pentakills in. 
and after the Ghost Blade, we're going to go for the Infinity's Edge. Doing it. Ooh, I'm so excited! I'm gonna get a pentakill and actually record it this time. <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Okay, come on. I got this. I'm going to kill Soraka. Come on, Sona, get away from the turret so I'll kill you too. Fine, I'll kill Graves. Now I'll kill Sona. Okay. Did a noob move there. And another move. It's okay. It's for a good cause. I want to go up there and kill Tristana. Just luck of the draw. Ah! No, don't get away! Die! She got away. Okay, let's kill Nasus. Whatever. Rap, I hate that turret. This is not going as well as last time. It's still going well, but I want the Penta. We really need that, uh, next thing. I can't think right now. I want the Penta. Can we get him? Sure, let's build a queue just in case, because he was just a smidge of health earlier and got away. Head to the bottom lane to who, bleh, see who we can kill. Did they all head mid? Did I totally just miss that? I did. Okay. I don't know if we can do the Pensa yet, but we're going to pick up a multi-kill. I stunned the minion, didn't I? Wow. That was bad. <clears throat> but only our second death with 14 kills, so not as bad as last time. All right. Finish up this infinity edge and go to work. Whenever it wants to respawn. So for those of you who haven't tried out the uh, critical attack speed, whatever you want to call it, Twisted Fate, I really suggest you do it. It's incredible. I mean, incredible. You feel like you're in complete control of the entire map at all times. Let's go take out this big mob here.
And let's go take out whoever's in the ball. I'm gonna go. No! I was about to be. Now I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm gonna kill you. Looks like trouble. Do not turn your back on me. I'm twisted fate. Ha ha ha. And now I'm dead. Alright, but we finished up the Infinity Edge, so that's gonna be a lot easier. Kills. Next will be the Bloodthirster. Yeah, Bloodthirster. Just so we have a little bit of lifesteal going on. 17 kills, 3 deaths, 21 minutes in 22 minutes into the match. I will get the pentakill. I'll do it. Did it twice, can do it again. Wait for it. We got the Infinity Edge now, so we're going to do some incredible damage really, really quick. I reckon. Did you see how fast that health went down? Three hits. I love this build. Where are you? Shouldn't have queued that gold card. Since you have only have four seconds to throw it now she's gonna get away crap but Nasus should be heading up here there's Nasus now Nasus is dead now Sona's dead. Now Sorak is dead. Ah, oh, if that turret wasn't there. Ah. Oh. Gonna go ahead and replenish health as we just picked up four kills easily. Whew. Get a little bit of life steal going on. Just the luck of the draw. I feel a pensa coming. They seem to all be heading bot lane, so let's oblige and go bot lane. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. 
two hits. Ah, you're just out of range, aren't you? Crap. If they were in range, that would have been a penta, but it's alright. We'll still get one. It's my lucky day. Look at the crits just going off like crazy. Love it. Come on. Goodbye. You can die too. Whatever you're doing up here. Oh, attacking the wrong person. <laughs> um. Alright, they're in the bot lane. That turret is still up. Holy crap. I think they're heading around top, maybe, no? Ah, uh, yeah, let's go this way. There's the double, come on, keep it going, keep it going, come on, run faster. I should have gave you boots. So should have gave you boots. 32 kills. Wow. We're going to pick up maybe a lot more. Okay, I could take out that turret. I want to take out the bottom so the panda kill is a lot easier to do. Told you this build's incredible. Charmed, I'm sure. Just the luck of the draw. And the turret goes down. All right, here we go. Let's make this happen. Yes, keep going down. No, you don't get away. Crap. Alright, let's just pick up another multi, whatever. Triple! Where are you? You're in base! Crap! Thirty second respawn on your team. All right. Thirty eight. 
Maybe we won't get the pentakill this time, but we tried. We came close. So, so very close. Forty-one kills. Again, if you guys have not tried this out, do it. It's awesome. Stunned the wrong one. Crap. More? Please, feed me. Holy. That's right. Actually, now that I see we're sitting on a crap ton of gold, let's go ahead and finish out the item set. Yeah, why not? Just the luck of the draw. It's the end, anyways. We have 45 kills. 45. Holy crap! Probably should have got the that. Shouldn't have gotten the Trinity Force, but worth a shot. Ah, uh, no, maybe it will work out. We'll see. There's the double. There's the triple. There's the lag. There's the Penta kill! I know, I yelled very loud, but there's the Penta kill. The thing that happens, I think it was what? One in every 1500 matches? Something like that? Yeah, we just did it. It got recorded finally. Penta kill. Let's go ahead and win this match now. It's kind of like saying, hey, we've been overpowered for a long time, now I'm going to show it. Oh, you want to pick up a few more kills? Sure, why not? And there you go, we got the panic kill, we got a crap ton of kills. This has been Malevolent Game. I hope you had fun watching. I sure had fun playing. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.